Hello and welcome to this news video. You can find all the links that will be mentioned in it in the description below. And if you wish to support the free content on this channel, you can hit the super thanks button or buy something from my Gumroad. All the files there are connected to tutorials on this channel, so get something for yourself and learn how to make it for free. In a new post in Blender's developer blog, Grease Pencil 3.0 was announced. Grease Pencil was in its beginnings in 2008 only an annotation tool designed to work in 3D space. But the community started to find new creative ways to use it, until in 2019 that gave birth to Grease Pencil 2.0, which was packed with many powerful features. Even so, and even with huge improvements brought by every new Blender version, Grease Pencil was and is still using the same core data structure created 15 years ago. That's why it was time to rebuild Grease Pencil from the ground up to modernize the code and allow for better performance, flexibility and ease of use. Of course, this was also the chance to do big changes and improve the tools and user experience. That's why a survey was conducted in the end of 2022 to gather the community's feedback and suggestions. The results of the survey are publicly available, you can open the spreadsheet if you wish and see what was requested most by the users. When will Grease Pencil 3 be live? The core of the system is already operational and live as an experimental option in Blender 4.0 Alpha. If you wish so, you can download it from the daily releases page. Once you open Blender, go to Preferences, Interface and check Developer Extras. Click on the new Experimental tab and check Grease Grease Pencil 3. Now you can either add the Grease Pencil 3 stroke object using Shift plus A, or if you have a Grease Pencil 2 object that you want to convert to Grease Pencil 3, select it then do F3. Type Convert, click on this one, then choose Grease Pencil. This may break objects so don't convert important files before creating a backup. For now it is in a very early stage and you can't do much with it, but with the help of the community Grease Pencil 3 is expected to be finished and to replace the 2.0 system by the time Blender 4 is officially released next November. What new improvements should we expect? The goal at first is for Grease Pencil 3 to have the same functionality as Grease Pencil 2 when it is time for it to replace it. But it is still expected to have some cool tweaks at its launch. A layer grouping system will help organize layers in groups and subgroups with each group having its own custom settings. A rework timeline will show clearly the duration of Grease Pencil frames and allow drawings to be instanced, meaning that you can clone some drawings to multiple frames and when you make changes to one of them it affects them all. After the first launch and based on the survey mentioned earlier, more and more changes will be done. The blog post mentions only a few. Booleans for fills which will allow drilling holes inside fills for example. More and better textured brushes. Grease pencil assets allowing you to save drawings in a library for later use. Improvements to the user interface and maybe most important of all, geometry nodes integration which will hugely expand what can be done with grease pencil. Better onion skinning and shape keys for grease pencil are also things to look forward to. The plan for the long-awaited Grease Pencil EV integration though seems to be dropped that was hoped to bring things like shadows and depth of field to Grease Pencil objects but from the little information I gathered Grease Pencil 3 will still be using its own rendering engine and users will have to rely on the planned geometry node integration to procedurally convert Grease Pencil to a mesh and then it can do whatever a mesh can do. Can I help? Yes, if you have even a little experience with coding, there is a list of community tasks you may be able to work on. You can ask questions in the Grease Pencil Developers chat channel and even attend the bi-weekly Grease Pencil Developers module meetings. That was it, in the end, tell me in a comment what are your thoughts about all these exciting things that are happening, see you in another video, and peace.